welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie, for those of you who do not know, and I talk about books. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, for this video, as you can tell from the title, it's the social media book tag. I was just like scouring through old booktube videos and because frankly I just I was in a slump and I didn't know what to film but I had to film something so I found this book tag um I found it from Haley and Bookland but I do know there's someone else who did it originally and I can't think of their name right now but I'll find it and I'll put it um in the description but basically what this is is just there's all the social medias and like a book represents each social media so pretty self-explanatory. Um, every social media that I have will be linked down below if you want to follow me. If not, that's cool too. No pressure. I'm not that interesting anyway. Um, but if you like these types of videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And yeah, hit the little bell if you want to know when I upload new videos because I don't have a set schedule because my life is, is a mess life's a mess. Okay, that's enough about me. Let's get into the social media book tag. First one is Twitter and that is your favorite shortest book. Now, this is hard for me because I don't read short books. Most of my books are at least 400 pages long so I don't read short books. So I had to think back real far back uh, to about seventh grade and in seventh grade reading class, we had to read The Little Prince. And I don't have a physical copy of The Little Prince anymore, so I'll put a picture of it here. Most of you guys know what The Little Prince is. If you haven't, it's a classic. You need to read it. It's just a great story. Um, it's relatively short, and I can't remember how many pages it is right now. But it was just a really good story. It's about a guy who travels to this type of planet, and he finds that the only inhabitant is this little prince. And... I don't know, it was just, I haven't read it since seventh grade, but I knew that I remembered that I loved it and it was my, it's my favorite shortest one because really it's the only shortest book that I've read because most, like I said, most of the books I read, read, what is wrong with me today? I can't speak. Because most of the books that I read, like I said, are at least 350 or more pages. So that's, that would be my favorite shortest book. Number two is Facebook, and that is a book that everyone pressures you into reading. Now, I don't get pressured into reading books usually because I just came out of a reading slump, so I haven't read anything in a while. However, I'm going to change this into a book that I was pressured into buying that I just haven't read yet, and that would be a Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass because it's everywhere. It's all over booktube, it's all over bookstagram, it's all over book Twitter. Everyone loves this book and I want to know why. So I have the series now, have them all. Now I just need to read it. I do know it's about fairies. I know the premise of this book. It's like a Beauty and the Beast retelling and I know, but it's like fairies instead of like people, humans. Cause fairies can be people too, I guess. So this was the book that some people pressured me into buying. I haven't read it yet, but pressured me into buying. Okay, so number three is Tumblr and that is a book that you read before it was cool. And for this one, I chose Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. I read this years and years ago before the movie came out. Um, and I really, really enjoyed this book. The premise is this is this girl's last day on earth and she ends up dying and then she wakes up and it's the same day and she's reliving the same day. However, at the end of each day, she still ends up dying. So she changes things about her day each time she wakes up to try to, I don't know if she's trying to like survive. I don't even know if the girl knows that it doesn't matter what she, I don't know if that's a spoiler. 
I don't think so. Whoops. Um, she, uh, it doesn't matter what she does. She still ends up dying. Sorry for those of you who've never read it. Um, but yeah, she just kind of self discovers herself, like what she holds most dear to her, how her friends are really just not that great. And, um, but yeah, it is a movie if you are interested in seeing the movie after you read the book, because that's what you should do always. You should read a book, then watch the movie. Don't watch the movie and read the book. It ruins it for you. So that was that one. Okay, four is uh, MySpace, which is a book you remember. What is it? A book you don't remember if you liked. I can't even remember because MySpace was so long ago. Um, I don't have one for this. I literally don't have a book that I don't remember if I didn't like. So there's that. Um, most of the books I read I like. Um, most books that I read I like or um, the only book that like I I guess I DNF'd is um, Glass Sword, which is the second book in the Red Queen saga books. Um, I couldn't finish that book for the life of me. I just couldn't do it. So I guess if that one counts, then that would be it. But other than that, there's never been a book that I was I read I read and was like I didn't like. So that was a hard one for me because I know if I've liked them. And pretty much I, I like the books that I read, so that one was a dud. Number five was Instagram, and that is a book so beautiful you had to Instagram it. Now, I have a bookstagram, so I take pictures of books every day. Whether or not they have like the most beautiful cover or not, I take pictures of it, um, and I edit it and make it beautiful and I put it on there. But this book, I just think, has such a pretty cover. And that one is Caraval. I know you can't tell by my camera because it's just an iPhone. However, it has red and it's got the pretty blue. It's just such a pretty cover that I did have to Instagram it and I really want to read it too, but I just, it's, it's not next on my list. It's, it's going to be a while before I get to that one, but I have Instagram that picture and it's all linked down below if you want to go check it out and follow me because I'm almost at 200 followers on there. So that would be a nice surprise. I'm just saying. Number six is YouTube and that is a book you wished would turn into a movie. And that, my friends, my friends, would be Lovely War. This needs to be a movie like yesterday. I am halfway through this book and I need to finish it today because I start a buddy read of The Honeymooners tomorrow. So I need to finish this today. Will please place bets down below if you think I'm going to finish this today because we all know how my track record is. But it is such a great story. Like I can totally see the gods and goddesses, you know, narrating this story. I can see the four kind of main characters in it in this um in the setting of World War 1. Gosh darn it. I need this to be a movie. I need this to be a movie. My stupid bookmark keeps making noise. Please someone make this into a movie. It is so good. I will have a, I can't speak today. I will have a review of this going up soon because as um, soon as I'm done it, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to finish it today. I don't care. This book um, is Book Reads. No, it's not. <laughs> Why can't I speak? And the last one is Goodreads. And that is a book you recommend to everyone. And for that one, I chose We Were Liars because 
I find this book, I don't know why I love it so much, but I do. I think it's because of the plot twist. Um, the writing's not like fantastic and it's nothing like that or anything. And the story is okay. I don't know, but the plot twist at the end is what gets me every time. I recommend it to my sister. She read it. Did she like it? Not really, but that's okay because her tastes, she does not like YA books anyway. So you can't take her word for it. Okay, take my word for it. It was good. Recommend it. Go read it. Like right now. Go. Go pause the video and go read it. No, I'm kidding. I need to watch minutes. Stay. Stay. Okay. But yes, that's everything. That is the social media book tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and let me know down below in the comments what you would pick for each of the social medias. Um, I'd be interested if there's anything new that I could read and things like that. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing down below if you want to see more videos of me. Um, all my social medias are linked down below along with a link to register to vote if you haven't already done so. Because like I say in every video, you really should let your voice be heard and that is the one of the best ways to do it. Um, but I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. Will this be up on Sunday? Let's hope. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys. My foot's asleep. I gotta stop doing these on the floor. Ow, 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 ow. I can't feel my foot. I can't feel my foot. I can't feel my foot. Hoi. I am way too old for this anymore. <laughs> Without further ado. Oh, and if you like these type of videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up and Okay, so the first <laughs> Why can't I do anything? Okay. Um